Hey gang, welcome to another episode of our show. Today we got our guest host, Scott, my brother from another mother. He is back. So today we are going to swap out the terminals. We're going to switch them both up because my swap, we got both of them. Hopefully, we're going to spring a little bit of gas down there just to see if we can get this engine to run. It's not going to run great because the carburetor is just sitting on there because toss one of those bolts. These are close. They are the right length, but they are the wrong thread. I don't want to damage that aluminum intake. So, we're just going to get a little sputter sputter out of it just as long as we get it to crank. So. Okay, as you've seen in the last video, this one was pretty well roached. It's just really thin. I think this is for a lawnmower and not an actual car. This one isn't much better. So I did like how they painted this one. So I'm going to take these outside. I'm going to put some paint on them. We'll give one black, one red. One black, one red. Reverse that. But that'd be a way to mess with somebody. Paint the negative red. That would mess with a lot of people. But we're not going to do that. So we're just going to paint these correctly. And we'll use this as an icon to say this is the positive and this is just the negative. So let's go paint. All right, well, we're outside. It's not the best of conditions for painting, but it's still warm enough to paint. So uh, we got one on this hook. We're going to hang one on the other hook. But we're going to take some of this hardware off just so we're not filling it up with paint. So you want to go ahead and open that one up. And off the trailer we hung them up here I know what you're thinking it's like well you just painted parts that are going to conduct electricity well that's a this is going to be I'm going to turn this into an awl you take that and you just scrape the paint off of it do this a few times scrape the paint off of here see nice and shiny we're getting contact so we'll do that to this one in the red one and we're going to put this on the battery and see if she'll bump. All right, now we just got to take these off of here. Let's see, we, we figured this was the 11 millimeter. Yep. 11 millimeter should. Loosen these. Love the sound of bolts going all the way through to the floor. It's ones that don't hit the floor. I fix. <laughs>
here's what we did. We removed all the plugs because I believe it might be hydro locked with too much fogging oil trying to save the engine. So what we're going to do, we're going to do two tests in one. We're going to see if I can rotate the engine. And if the engine rotates, which it should, we're going to also check for spark because we have all the spark plugs hooked up and you should see a little spark coming from the plugs. They don't need to be touching metal because they're plugged in all the way. They're already plugged in. So let's hook up this battery. Uh, keep an eye out, see if anything comes flying out of those cylinders. Yeah, I'll stand over here. It'll be not going on. Contact. What was that noise? Starter. Good. Cylinder the starter's probably not good. Well, do you know how to remove a starter? Uh, jack it up, take it off. I can do the jack up part. Mm -hmm. It's two bolts holding the starter on. Not a Ford one has three bolts, just a Ford, or a Chevy. Oh yeah, Osbro actually. Still two bolts. Dug from the channel. I'll get the jack if you want to crawl underneath there for me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>